this is Jack again, and this is Kelly. Hi! Kelly is my best friend and my complicated significant mother. And, um, she came on to talk with you guys and me about some questions she's had. Now, she's been here since the beginning of my transition, since I really uh, began to realize what I was, or at least have the words for it. And um, throughout the trans throughout my transition, it's been a transition for her, and she's had some questions. So, in case the viewers have some questions, and in case case later other people have questions, I wanted to come on to here and ask her to come on and ask the questions to me that she had, so that I can maybe give a good answer. We hope. Yeah. Okay. So you ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the first question I had was, how do you know when you're transitioning that how you feel about not being the right gender? I mean, you said that when you looked in the mirror, you didn't know people saw who they actually were. And so, how do you, how did you get to the point where you realized that it was because you were a boy and not a girl? And... When did you get to the point that you realized that was like that was a specific problem that was causing you not to be yourself, but that it wasn't something else? Well, um, I think a lot of people they look in the mirror and they don't see themselves for several reasons, and this is kind of just my reason. I knew because when I um, clarified to myself what I was, I understood better why why I felt that way when I was sitting there. And when I would, um, when I started strapping and packing, I would look in the mirror and it would be like, wow, that I've, I see myself more than I ever have before. So I knew because when I started transitioning, um, when I would look in the mirror, it fit, right? And so if it hadn't been the reason that I didn't see myself, then um, it still wouldn't have fit. Cool. That answers my question. Um, how I know a lot of people um, sort of don't understand the difference between like what is you feel is your gender and what society says gender is. Like for example, like what like someone feeling male or female versus society's definition of men being masculine or women being feminine, what those characteristics are. So how do you feel that you are, you have a gender identity that is male and not just a personality that perhaps is more masculine, but you could be female? Like, what, does that make sense? Yeah. Um, I actually asked myself this question because I was trying to figure out what gender is. Like, how do I know what gender I am? Is it because, um... I my personality fits the gender norms that I was taught about it or taught about or is it because I come to the table with an idea of what gender is and then um and then like I I say so I'm male and then um the genders that I've been the the gender roles and the gender the things that we've been taught about gender about male and female um, they fit. Do, do they fit me or do I fit them? Is that kind of the question? Well, I'm not really sure. What I mean is, I think that some people misunderstand what it is to be transgender because they feel like, oh, well, no, the reason you're trans is because maybe you were born female, but you feel like you have the characteristics of our society attributes to be male, like you're more masculine, you're more dominant, you don't express your feelings or whatever. So what is the difference, I guess, between you know that you have a gender identity that is male as opposed to you maybe just having a gender expression that is male? Like, does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Um, I guess my answer, because we grow up in a society, especially here in Utah, and especially in Utah Valley, um, where we were, uh, we, we're only taught that gender is what we are, so when somebody says, I feel different than what we're taught, we're, who we are, right, I feel different than who I am, um, 
it's difficult for people who aren't trans to understand that. Or even, um, let's see. So, I guess what I would ask you, as a viewer, most of you, I assume, are cisgender. And so you feel completely male or you feel completely female. Do you even know what that means? Oh, I thought I... Oops. Well, it might, and they might know, but they, it might be someone to this video. Cisgender means that um, your birth sex and your gender identity fit each other. And I guess I'm going to have to give some um, basic definitions. Gender identity, no, sorry, birth sex is the, um, is, is the, sorry, my olive, olive being bad. Oh. Keep going. I got it. Birth sex is the way your body uh, has primary or secondary sex characteristics. Secondary characteristics like growing a beard. Primary characteristics like having a penis. And so, um, if you're born generally, if you're born generally with a penis and then you get to puberty and you grow a beard, people say your birth sex is male. And of course there are people called, um, intersex people who are somewhere in the middle. They have a some sort of mix of primary or secondary sex characteristics of male and female. And um, that might be that that might be even just within the chromosomes. One in twenty thousand people that we would ascribe um, the label male to actually have two X chromosomes. And so Yeah, so birth sex that gender identity is when the way you feel inside the gender you feel inside differs from your birth sex um and transgender is when wait, gender identity is how you feel inside so it's different transgender is when you feel like those two are different your birth sex and gender identity and cisgender is when you feel like they're the same so you feel like your birth sex is male and your gender identity is male as well so that's what cisgender means. Okay, so I think it's hard, um, what I was saying, I think it's hard for cisgender people to listen to how transgender people um, explain their situation and understand it simply because all they know is how they feel and they don't feel good. Does that make sense? But if you were to go as a cisgender person, because I'm assuming mo many of the viewers are cisgender, if you were going to go as a cisgender person to a country where gender roles were completely opposite, um, women were to go out and get food for the family, right? Men were to stay home with the children, men were nurturing, women were aggressive, right? Um, all of those intricacies within gender roles. You would still feel, I imagine, I mean, would you feel like, so you move to, you're male. You move to a place where um, women are the ones that go out and get the the food, bring home the bacon, right? They're the strong ones. Would you feel like you were a woman? Um, well, I guess it is okay. Though. Yeah, and um, I would just so. really quickly like to add that um, if anybody else has more questions about this, the I the best place I could recommend is a book called. Um, becoming a visible man. Hey, Ari. And in in a in the author's introduction, he's discussing the differences between sex and gender, and how you know how you know what gender you are. And <laughs> and um, it, hi, Dad. he has a lot to add on the subject. What else were you saying? Okay. Uh, I was saying uh, one thing that kind of I guess turned a light on for me when I was trying to understand the whole transgender issue was uh, using the example you used of going to a, a country where gender roles were different. No, they don't, wouldn't even have to be opposite, but just, I mean, every country or culture is different. You would want, I mean, most people, you would conform to the gender roles to some extent because it would be, for most people, I think it would be distressing to be seen as something that you are not. And so if you don't feel, if you, as a cisgender or transgender person, go to another country and people see you as the opposite gender, 
it's kind of almost being seen as the wrong person entirely. It's a very distressing experience. So you would conform to that. So that kind of helps. I really would feel like if, um, if someone felt like a woman, like they were a woman, and then they woke up one morning and they were in the body of a man. Yeah. I mean, that's really the best way to describe how that would feel. They would still feel like a woman just because they have the body of a man doesn't make them a man. That's true. Um, and another thing that helped me understand the question that I just asked Jack about gender expression and gender identity, um, I was confused at first when Jack first came out as transgender because he took uh, a woman in gender studies class and he came and we talked about how a lot of what we assume to be male or female characteristics are not biologically set. Like, they've studied and found that women are not necessarily more nurturing and that men, I don't know what the other study was, but uh, basically... Don't worry about it. It's okay. okay. It's going. Okay. Sorry. Um, Computer's having problems. I need to webcam. Uh, it... Uh, anyway, so you have, and so I was confused about, like, okay, so how would someone know that they were male or female if gender expression is something that we teach you rather than something that has been born? But I, then I learned later that your gender identity is something that you develop. I mean, I think they're supposing that you develop it, like, while you're a fetus, like, while you're developing in the womb. And so if you develop as a transgender person, you're going to look to whichever gender you identify as. Well, I mean, for anybody it would. Whichever gender you identify as, you're going to look to that gender for your gender roles. Right. So, that, I don't know if that made sense, but that helped me a lot to understand. Well, like, when I cut, person. when I would cut my hair, I would look in the mirror and I would feel more like a man, and it's not necessarily because being a man means that you have short hair. It just means that the culture I grew up in, being a man means she should have short hair. So when I would, um, I would look in the mirror, I would not only see what was inside of me, but it was also, um, what I had learned being male was. So I already knew I was male, but I knew how to be male by how I was taught. That's true. Do... 12 minutes long, do you want to keep doing questions, or like... Well, um, the limit is 15, so if you have any... If you have one more question, then we could probably answer it. I can't... I can't remember any other questions I had. Do you want to address anything else? No, I think you could say, just say hi. Just in second. <laughs> Let's see, can you see her on here? Uh, oh my gosh, you can see. <laughs> can you see her? Yeah. Oh, hi, Olive. I'm good. Yeah. Oh, goodness. You saw my nose. That was embarrassing. And, um, check it out. I got some polos and shirts, and I look spiffy. So, um, now I have a couple more posts that I wanted to post them really quick in this last minute. This is a really long video, but I just wanted to put this in. Um, I've been thinking about it, and these videos are really for my benefit more than anybody else's. And so, um, so I might post a lot of videos, and some of them might be pretty long, because I have a lot to say. And, um, you guys don't have to watch. Don't worry if you don't want to watch it. I don't care. Um, but I'm going to be videoing me so that later... I will be able to look at my videos and and um, watch how I've changed. Watch how some of the things that I thought back here might have changed. People change a lot during transition. I'll be telling them that next time. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, enjoy the rest of your day, you guys. See you later.